for tuning into market for that but uh, let's talk about this counter that was in focus yesterday that was GMR airports uh, that unveiled an AI powered digital twin platform at the Rajiv Gandhi International Airport in Hyderabad aiming to revolutionize airport operations now this includes a one-of-a-kind next-gen airport predictive operation center aviation minister Ram Mohan Naidu was at the event to inaugurate the transformational technology let's go across and listen into what he had to say on the future of aviation under the visionary leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, we have witnessed a transformation in our aviation landscape like no other country in the world. The mission to onboard people from even the remotest corners of the country onto the aircraft, which he famously says, Hawaii chappal se Hawaii jahaj ka safar. This has become a reality today in this country. And today, air travel is no longer a luxury or only for the elite but a common mode of transportation for millions of Indians. So my seeing of civil aviation is more like a civilian aviation. That is what I wanted to create in this country. However, the task that lies ahead for us, all of us stakeholders, is that every journey should be as seamless as we can make it and as efficient as possible. And let me share some figures also that will emphasize on the critical need of efficient airport operations and especially APOC-like centers. In October this year, domestic air passenger traffic registered a 5.3% increase, reaching 1.36 crore passengers compared to 1.26 crore in the last month itself. So you see how much growth has happened in one month. December 2023 has witnessed a staggering 1.37 crore domestic passengers, and this November, we surpassed that number in just 29 days, making it the best ever month in the history of Indian aviation. And November 17th, particularly that day, which will always be remembered in the history of civil aviation in the country, that was when we crossed over 5 lakh domestic passengers. And this was something which no country has been... Some, some have achieved, a couple of them, but it's, it's like a dream for most of the countries which India has crossed in one day. Under the leadership of our Prime Minister, we envision that airports are a critical growth sector for the country, major economic centers for the country. And he put a lot of impetus in the growth of the airports. And what used to be 74 at the time in 2014, we now have a staggering number of 157 and counting. 158 also happened. We have three more lined up and many more coming. And my vision for the next five years is we have to create 50 more airports in this country itself. And when we are doing that, evolving the civil aviation into the next sector, I've seen that pretty much the challenge is not bringing in the capex for building airports. The challenge is no more creating those facilities, those buildings. Now it is so many people are coming in and they're all able to build the airports and that's the number that I've shared with you also and how 10 years we have created so many airports. The way I see the civil aviation evolving is not just the number of airports that are created, but the kind of facilities, the services that you're going to offer in the airports itself. That is going to be the change maker that India can bring into the whole civil aviation network.